Hey guys, Tav here. So this is an updated map tutorial. So if you remember in June, I posted a map tutorial for how I make maps in my European Universe 4 time lapses. So I've changed up the way I make them since then. So I thought I'd just give you guys a, a new tutorial for that. So yeah. So first of all, you're gonna need a few basic things. The primal being paint.net, as you can see here. And if you want to do some more advanced things that I usually do for my videos, you are also going to need a couple of plugins, but you can find them down in the description below. So yeah, so if you want to use the old way, the old way I used to have my maps, you can simply just turn off this filter right here, this layer. This layer is basically uh, the main new thing that I have added, and it's very nice if you ask me, it gives it a topography so it shows mountain chains and oceans depths and stuff like that and I think it's really good looking so yeah so you can simply just turn this off if you don't want it but yeah let's get into it so I have my Mongol Empire here in my last empire that I posted so we're just gonna copy it the way you do that is that you go to the magic wand tool then you select flood mode here and you make it global and then you simply press your empire and then you copy it by pressing ctrl c or going to the edit so once you got that you're gonna paste it into the outer borders and here we go so you could settle for this if you want it looks rather nice actually but if you want to take it a step further as i want to do you're gonna paste it into the inner glow section as well it's like this so once that's done, you're gonna use the, what's it called, color picker to select the colors of the empire twice and then you're gonna go to object and uh, object edge. And what you're gonna do here is that you are going to select an edge color and you, the way I like to do it is I put it a bit darker like this. And then uh, we're gonna pull it down to edge a bit make it more apparent so you can see it and then we're gonna pull it up a bit this way it gets a nice black border on the edge uh, you can make it a bit darker if you want to it makes it a bit clearer to see and you can change this around however you want uh, let's get, keep it at the middle i think that's good perhaps a little bit more on the edge here however yeah, so I think that's pretty good looking. If we take a look here, this is before and this is after. It gives it a like um, easier way to see it, I think. And then for the inner glow, we're just gonna press the inner glow, keep the same colors here, and go into object edge. Here we go. As click on this button, reset. And as well, in case you've changed it. And then you wanna change the middle color to something a bit lighter. Like this. But we don't wanna have it like this. This looks rather ugly. So we're gonna move up the blend quite far. Uh, lower this a bit. And then we're gonna pull the blur, blur up way high. You might also, perhaps not full white. You can do a little bit of lighter color scheme if you want to um, so yeah we can take a look here you can change the settings however you want to you get a mixed like, result so yeah I think this is pretty decent so if we take a look here before and after you're gonna see that it's that the entire map gets a more bigger hue of color makes it much uh, much brighter so yeah so that's the basic part of how you do the map uh, for putting out your letters you can do it in a couple of ways if you wanna have it like a text that's uh, a text that's not uh, straight that's not in a straight line you can use the uh, let's see the text formations the circle text I used to use this a lot, but I have stopped using it for more straight text because it's a lot easier actually. 
But if we just go to capital type OSIS and type Mongolia here, we're gonna see... Oh, wait, yeah. I'm sorry, you have to go to the text thing here, so do not disturb this. So by going to the text, text formations, berserk text, then we type Mongolia. Also you need to have white right here, and you can see it appearing here, and we have some weird font. Let's change that, there we go. Uh, then you wanna pull down the angle dark, something like this maybe. Make the radius bigger. And uh, we can like put it out here. You can uh, change the angle start to get it more, more uh, better looking to make it simple. So yeah, uh, let's put something like this. It's pretty decent. We're gonna make it bold, increase font size a bit. So yeah, so with this tool we can make quite good looking texts like this. So yeah, so there you have it. So this is the updated uh, map tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more content, if you want to see more time lapses. So yeah, so you have a great day. Peace.